Hello everyone, welcome to the next video on the UCX series. On this video, we will focus on group migration. Group migration is the next step after running the assessment workflow. So what does group migration involve? Here you can see a comparison of the command line commands and the workflow commands. Generally, you would prefer to run the workflows and we would recommend using the workflows for this. However, looking at the command line commands will give you us a better idea of what these steps involve. You can see that in the workflows commands, we don't have a create account groups task. This is because this can only be done either using the command line or using other methods such as integrating with scheme. Once the account groups are created, then you can move on to the next steps. If you're using the workflows, this would mean running the migrate groups workflow. We recommend using the normal workflow instead of the experimental one. It will first rename your workspace local groups and it will use the prefix that we set during the installation. In this case, it was dbtemp for this renaming. It will then reflect the account groups on the workspace. This means it will assign the new account groups to the workspace. It will finally apply the permissions to the account groups. These permissions are the workspace level permissions of your clusters, jobs, ML models, experiments, all of those permissions will be applied. In the end, there's also a step for validating group permissions. You can also run that validate group permissions independently as a workflow. So let's say after a couple of days, you want to check that the group's permissions are still consistent, you can run that. And there's also a final step called remove workspace local backup groups, which once you feel comfortable with the group migration, you can run that to delete your renamed workspace old groups. With that said, let's see how this looks in the UI. As you remember from last time, I had this DB test group created at account level. But on my workspace, I had two groups, and these two groups had members within them. So to do this correctly from scratch, I'm just going to delete this group from the account level and use the create account groups command to create them correctly. Okay, so let's go to the terminal to run this. So in my terminal, I'm going to run Databricks Labs UCX create account groups. In this case, I am using my profile to authenticate. And I'm also passing the workspace ID, which is the workspace I want to migrate. So this is this workspace here. So let's run this. Once this runs, you can see it has created the test group one and test group two in the account. So if I go to the account and I refresh here, you can see I have my two groups with their correct memberships. Now that the create account groups command has been run, we can go to run our migrate groups workflow. So for that, we go to workflows, we search for our UCX workflows, and we will open the migrate groups workflow. I'm going to click run now, and this will run the migration. You can see here the tasks in more detail. It will verify the meta stories attached, rename workspace local groups, reflect account groups on workspace, apply permissions to account, and validate the uh, group permissions. So now, when it finishes running, what you will see is you will be able to go to your settings, identity and access, groups, and you will see that you have the old groups being renamed to dbtemp, and you have the new groups here created, and the permissions have been assigned. Once you use this and you found that everything works correctly, what you can do is you can go back to workflows and run the remove workspace local backup groups to delete the dbtemp groups. So you can click run now for that one and it will clean that up for you. So now you can see this has successfully run. And if I go back to the groups, you can see the old groups have been successfully removed and we have only the remaining account groups. Thank you very much.